just came to Stavanger. It's pretty dark here. I'm gonna put the boat in the water. There is a small slip. It should be quite calm today, which is good for the first day, but tomorrow we're predicting very good wind. Shouldn't be much wind today. Live in Stavanger. Sails are nice. Few knots of wind. Seems like moving. It looks like, looks like pretty frozen. This is ice. We can make a cocktail now. It's just beautiful. This is my small tent. It's one person tent. It's a little bit wider here. But on the other side, it's very narrow. You can see. Just enough space for my legs. It's freezing outside. All the water is going to be frozen in the morning. It's the first morning. Oh, I had alarm at 7 o'clock, but it was totally dark. So now it's almost 8 and it's still dark but it's, it's time to go ice was cracking all night quite scary you can see all the frost and condensation but look outside there is actually a moon and i'm afraid i'm not going anywhere for a while because my boat is totally dry this frozen crux to get my yellow back. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cold. Let's see. Oh, seems like this water is frozen. My boat is on dry land. I'll probably have to wait one hour. Poor boat, it's all frozen. All this ice formed tonight. And it was really cracking. Oh, we're four layers of wool socks and then I add a Goratex sock this is just extra protection if I have to go out in the crocs like I didn't have it on in the morning if you wonder how I put this in my crocs the thing is I bought the biggest size crocs you can get it's the size 17. That's probably, I think it's 54 or something. Huge. That's the only way to get five pair of wool socks and, and this in, so I can walk around. I think my toothbrushes frozen. See, it doesn't move. All my water is frozen except tea, which I don't want to use for brushing teeth. To borrow some of this water. Nice! Fresh water. Defrost toothbrush. Paste. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. Well, the only thing not frozen is this bottle. It's good for digestion. And we add a little bit of ice. Well, this boat looks pretty frozen to me. Oh man. Oh man. See, this is this is seawater from yesterday. And it's frozen. Oh man. Yeah, I can see it's sea water because it's kind of jelly. So I use this to attach myself to the boat. It's frozen. Okay. It's time to throw some ice of the boat. I was a little bit late today. We started one hour earlier. It's a short day. The sunset is around four o'clock and as I go north, it's, the days are getting shorter and shorter. So you can see there's almost sunrise but it's been uh, bright enough for two hours so tomorrow I'm gonna wake up one hour earlier and it's quite hard to wake up because it's really cold and it's dark and everything is frozen well, I'm kind of lucky with the wind the weather forecast was that it should be much much stronger here but I'm having around probably more than 10 knots working from behind quite good speed it would be nice if the day was longer I could say like this all day you see here we are moving and this behind is Stavanger and it's interesting that the sun never gets higher than this it's always very low it just goes across the horizon so the wing fit up a little bit I'm now surfing down this place I have to shift my body all the time because I have the full mainsail downwind so each time I surf down I have to shift the weight to keep the boat balanced oh. Third morning Yesterday I sailed during the night because I wanted to use the good wind. It was totally dark and it was really hard to find a place to stop. And I got to this place and uh, there's hardly a place to pitch a tent and hard to access the boat. It's actually quite a nice place. You see the mass down there? very hard to access the boat and there's some uh, tide going on that's not the best place but i'm stuck here for one day this is the place that's where i put my tent it's the only place i could do it i have plenty of time to charge my battery with this turbine so i have to do a crash test which means i can return the boat after capsizing and there's only one way to do this and I hate this but better now than, than later just capsize theoretically shouldn't be too hard or maybe yes it's a 
Stable bottom. Oh, we're bent. So. It's really important. See? Which means stepping up here. Slowly come up, and then if you're good, you can jump in. You don't get wet. Okay. Very gusty. Winds changing directions. Very windy. That's a quick start. Day. up a little bit here in this fjord seems like it has a channel effect I only have this small sail and I'm surfing most of the time there's gusts coming from all over the place there's so many fjords and valleys and and comes from here and from there and The wind really picked up. Woo. And it's getting dark slowly. So I have to find the spot very quickly because this wind is gonna go up a lot during the night in the next few hours. So if I'm not sheltered, it's not gonna be okay. So now I came around the corner looking for the shelter, but the wind just shifts and goes through this channel now and there's not a single flat area to hide and to pitch a tent yesterday I mean two days ago I had a big trouble when I was doing this at night and I really hope to find something that's gonna be my place for tonight I have no idea where and how but that's it and I'm gonna use this Pulley. That's a main sheet from the catamaran. Not sure this is gonna hold now. Of course not. Just being lazy and not doing it properly. Okay, this might be better. Just give it a try and think later if it doesn't work. I'm gonna use my. 100 kilos. Oh, okay. Ugh. That's too easy. leaving and I have the third reef I never thought I'm gonna use this it would be an emergency outside it's around 30 knots forecasted uh, it's really gusty you can see on the water changing directions I 
show you. I'm actually surfing. This is the worst. I got gusts. You can see it on the surface of the water. It goes like well, It started raining. And up there, there is the to heaven. It just opened. You can feel the sun raining again. Well, getting close to Bergen, I guess it's supposed to rain. If it was sunny, I would think I'm going somewhere else. Well, I know, Caribbean. But now I'm going north towards Bergen. It has to rain. Now I'm getting waves from one side from the ocean and here from two other fjords and it's all messy. I'm getting waves from left, from the right, from behind. Roller coaster. Just hope the wind stays steady so I don't get in any trouble. Oh, oh. Man. That's windy. Uh, dry suit I'm wearing. Now it's on my third trip. Third big trip. And if you want something really good, you're serious about stuff like this, just go with Sandy Line. It seems like I'm in a control for now. It's pretty windy. Okay, the third trip, that's at least say a leg and a half. Well, the guy who made the bridge in this sail, the guys from Sail. Thanks, guys. Okay. Huge crossing seas. See, this one's from there, some from here. And when they combine at the wrong moment, you get a huge wave. That's not good. Oh, shit.
One, two, three, four times capsized. It was just some shitty wind from side, some shitty waves. Oh man. That's not fun. here at this spot that was a long day and it's I mean there is absolutely no place in the area where you can normally part a boat and pitch a tent it's all I don't know there's not a small ground which would be level closed summer houses but it's too windy here to put the tent. I don't know. It's gonna be dark in one hour. So I better think fast and figure out something. That's gonna be my camping ground tonight. Yes. It's a path. And uh, it's the only level place in this area. Down there, it's my boat. I mean, it could be a nice place in summer when it's warm. But I'm wet, hungry. And I was really looking for some nicer place, but. It's so hard to find it in these yards. The conclusion of these days, I'm not sailing anymore in 30 knots of wind, definitely not in fjords. This is such a small boat. I capsized four times. The good thing is, the tea is almost ready. And the next thing going in here is carbonara. Where is it? Okay, I have two boxes of this. No, it's bolognese. I just ate the chocolate. I'm gonna have a nice rest and have a clear mind tomorrow. Well, one thing is for sure Norwegians have a very good local weather site, super accurate. It said loads of rain during the night until morning. I think they're pretty right. Oh, this was my campsite it's actually a path that goes down to the boat but because it's only flat place that's where I slept this is definitely the nicest place to brush your teeth on the bridge my water totally empty maybe I have one liter left and I was quite worried where to get water but I hear a stream and I saw one there I see one better one down there so maybe there's a good way to get there oh I just found two beautiful streams there's one, there's another one. But this water looks so dirty. I just have a bad feeling about this water. I'm not gonna take it. Oh, well, this one seems better, it's not perfect. I'll put some more of those drops inside and boil it okay I'll just put more I'd rather die out of this than then uh, out of some shit in this water okay over this uh, it's just a 
drops. And the question now is, how much sail should I put on? I mean, you can always reef or make it bigger, but just make it right first time and it's too much work, it's annoying. So it seems like it's not too windy. It shouldn't be more than 15 knots today, so I'm just thinking full sail or one reef. Probably kind of the restaurant or something here they have a decoration. They have these piers to dock the boats. This light is here working all the time. This place. Very nice place. See when you do this here you have time to do it properly. When you do it in water. Always nice. I just hate being in the water, waist deep in the water. It is absolutely not fun. Okay, here we go. for this kind of narrow fjord channel I don't know it it looks like almost like a river Ooh, a gust. I'm lucky to have some current with me and here and there there's some wind oh, oh. Forecast said not much rain, but hey, I'm lucky again. Finished my trip and I came back with my car to get my boat and uh, my boat is uh, down there. And yesterday I came into this really, really remote small village because I found out that there's a small catamaran ferry coming here and there's also a bus station. And the guy from uh, this house, just his summer house, was here and a uh, very nice guy and he helped me to organize stuff and he gave me a lift to halfway to Bergen and then I took a bus and then another bus and finally came to my car. So now I have to put all the stuff in my car and somehow bring the boat up here pull it up there that's gonna be fun <laughs> 